um, this is a very insightful question. I think it is the same uh, barrier that used to be in the previous years as well, but it is getting improved. It is the what is called the resistance to change. This is the biggest barrier and this is the biggest uh, issue that the shipping organizations face. I see that recently more and ever increasing number of um, forward-thinking shipping executives with decision makers, they realize that they need as soon as possible to embrace this digital transformation. This is a huge swell. This is a huge ocean wave which is not simply coming. It's already here and there is no any way to either avoid it or um, ignore it. We desperately need to be able to ride it and this takes time. So they need to give this opportunity to all their um, headcount, to all their uh, people to start using the new digital uh, tools in order to be able to efficiently utilize them. Right. The first important, absolutely essential step is to establish a real-time, continuous, reliable, accurate data feed from the vessels, from the sensors of the vessel, from all the critical machinery, devices, equipment of every single vessel. Uh, we have um, a hard fact, we have a statement, and I can prove that no two vessels are exactly alike. Even if they are identical sister vessels, for many different reasons, every vessel has its own personality, let's say, its own uh, performance, its own attitude because every vessel has different hull and propeller fouling, because every vessel has different um, damages or repairs, has different kind of maintenance. They have, they burn different fuel, and not only different type of fuel, but different quality of fuel. The contamination cases are uh, being very often worldwide. But for most importantly, every vessel is being sailed by different crew, with different experience, with different training, with different reactions in different uh, situations and different weather conditions. So the shipping industry paving the way to Maritime 4.0, the first important step is to establish a normal, synchronized, real-time data feed from every single vessel and then be able to enrich in them those data with third-party data, with weather data, with other data and then be able to do a proper uh, sophisticated analysis based on artificial intelligence and this creates the fascinating, the stimulating part of how we can utilize data into actionable information, into value-adding services for the benefit of the shipping company. The pandemic was a curse and I really don't like when technology companies announce that they increased their revenues because of the pandemic. pandemic created a terrible debt toll and it is totally unethical to, to use it as an example. But pandemic was a catalyst for all the humanity and for the whole uh, world of industries into um, showing us and proving us how the digital technologies are an uh, essential part of the solutions to our problems. And this was a good lesson that we all took. But now we need to speed up, we need to expedite on the digital transformation of our a little bit old-fashioned, old-school business activity. My wish was that it's something that 
this definitely will happen uh, that uh, the regulators, the authorities, should not encourage the fragmentary way of reporting. Shipping must uh, go into where we, the, the humanity is right now, more than two decades within the 21st century. The way shipping used to be managed by noon reporting, inaccurate, unreliable and fragmentary way is over. We need to embrace and we need to support the actual real-time data gathering in order to be uh, reliable and actionable in order to have some data-driven decision-making and I would say artificial intelligence-driven decision-making. We all need to be data and digitally literate. This is an extremely serious and important challenge and all the authorities need to join forces in order to uh, achieve such a uh, such a target.